And with the economy starting to rebound once again and stimulus money in people's pockets, folks, well, they have more money to spend, especially on cars. But we found out dealerships, they can't keep up. News 5's Natalie Chuck is live at Southwest Motors in Pueblo with details on the shortages everywhere. Natalie? Good evening, Rob. Well, if you were to drive past any of these car dealerships that line Highway 50, you might notice a lot of empty spaces just like these that are on the lots. A combination of no new cars coming down the pipelines plus a high demand for used ones is impacting car dealerships everywhere. Usually, you're excited to see open parking spaces, but not at a car lot when shopping for one to buy. The demand's the highest that we've ever seen it. Been here for 30 years. All over the nation, dealerships like Southwest Motors are facing a car shortage for both new and used. As you can see out here, there's a scarcity of vehicles. The market now, much different than a year ago when the pandemic began. A year ago, we were sitting here closed. We weren't even allowed to have anybody on our lot. There was cars all over the place across the country. They didn't know what they were going to do with them. And a year later, no one would have predicted that we were going to have record months. Southwest Motors says March was their best month in history. People got the money from the government and they're not going on vacation. But every dealership is struggling with supply. I get a lot of phone calls and texts from other people saying, how do you keep cars on your lot? So. We're all having a big problem. But if you keep an open mind. I wasn't particularly picky about that. Now might actually be a better time to buy than normal. Interest rates are the lowest they've been ever in our history. And if you take a payment on a car, you can pay about 20% more for a car and you really have the same payment because you're paying less interest than you were four or five years ago. Or even. We will give people an incredible amount of money for a good car. Sell the one you already have. And Southwest expects the shortage to get better as demand goes down. But as for new cars being manufactured, they say that's a problem we'll be facing for years to come. Always watching out for you, Pueblo. Natalie Chuck, News 5. Natalie